right, so here we are. It's uh, Masters of the Universe uh, Revelation Masterverse Savage He-Man. Um, I can already tell by the outside of the box um, this He-Man um, kind of crap, but it does come with Orko. So that's why we got this figure. <laughs> but we're gonna open him up and we're gonna see what he looks like. Um, my my main issues, you know, I'd be asking, well, what's your problem with this thing? For one thing, if look at the figure, he looks dirty. <laughs> looks like he just, he looks grimy. I understand what they were trying to do when they did the little spray job in between the muscles and stuff. It was to make him look more defined and more jacked, but um, he doesn't. And honestly, he looks like it's the same body as the other He-Man figure. It's like, what if you, what you should have done is give him a big friggin' Hulk body. Uh, and that's what he looks like. If we turn this box around and we look at the picture on the back, my goodness, that's the Hulk right there. Why don't we give this guy a Hulk body? He should have made, him, made his body a little bit bigger, but he does come with the accessories that you know he's supposed to come with, and he does come with Orko, and we'll see that. But first, let's take a look and see what read the flavor text here. Savage He Man, the most powerful primate in the universe. Wrong! For years, it was assumed that Prince Adam could only call upon the power of Grayskull using the Sword of Power. But what happens if he did not raise aloft his magic sword and still said, by the power of Grayskull? The answer, Savage He-Man, a combination of primal rage and all the power in the universe. He-Man tears through Eternia in an uncontrolled rampage, leaving his friends hoping that Adam is in there somewhere. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, as we get further into this revelation line, they, the story gets more ridiculous and more ridiculous. But nonetheless, the figures have been pretty cool so far. This is the only one that I'm looking at from the outside of the box that I'm thinking, nah, not so much. But at least we've got uh, Orko. It includes Orko. Orko. Orko! So that's, that's what we're going to be looking at today to see what this Orko looks like. And he does look pretty cool is packaged with the axe, the sword of power for some reason, and uh, a spear. A spear for He-Man. And uh, so we are going to open this up and see what it looks like outside of the box. Okay, so let's start out with the reason why most people, or at least I bought this uh, set, uh, was to get Orko. Um, Orko here is, he comes with a stand. He basically is the stand. As you can see, if we turn the figure, um, he's got, the, he goes all, all the way up almost to the head of the figure. Um, you, if you take this off, I'm not even sure if you can take it off. Um, he's not really able to, I mean, maybe you can, you can stand him up on his little dress or whatever. Um, just a clear underside, um, semi-posable. It's got a couple of uh, points on it and uh, you can move the arms and the head around. It's very nice to good sculpt. He's got this uh, cool little stuff hanging off the hat. Nice little details. Looks like the little, you know, trawling magician. A um, very, very cool looking figure. Um, very awesome. Um, it's too bad he's just a uh, an afterthought when it comes to this set. He was uh, includes Orko, like, uh, like includes Cape back in that uh, that old Supergirl figure from a couple years ago. But yeah, it just a, just an extra little accessory is what Orko has been relegated to. Um, and it's, it's too bad because this is like a neat little figure. It would have been nice to have a value figure in the line. This could have been a $10 figure, maybe a 15, whatever. Maybe he could have given him some, some shit to zap off his hands, some, some cool little accessories for Orko himself. Other than that, very cool paint applications, just like the rest of the line. For the most part, you've got very exact, very nice looking uh, paint applications. If you look at the eyes here, I like this figure a lot and I'm glad that I got this set. That is Orko. 
Okay, Mattel, here we are with uh, Savage He-Man. Um, yeah, it's, it's like they, they hired a Savage to do the, the, the stinking paint job on this thing. What a load of crap. After I spent all this time blowing smoke up Mattel's butt, talking about how exact and how wonderful the paint jobs were on this, you've got this slapdash dirty He-Man. Um, and, and that's basically what he is. It, in the, the illustrations and in the, uh, the animations, I, I have seen a little bit of it, you can see that he's supposed to be big, like jacked up bigger than, uh, than he was before as He-Man. Um, but And then you might look at this and be like, no, this is bigger. This is bigger than the He-Man figure. Wrong! Well, let's take a look at the He-Man figure. And as you can tell... By looking at these figures, they basically have the same body. They just did a little little paint job number on him um, to you know to, to to make it look a little bigger, to make him look a little more jacked up. But as it turns out, they're the same goddamn size, no matter how splayed out his toes and fingers are. He's still gonna be the same damn size He-Man. You could swap the arms, legs, and whatever, uh, one to one between these two figures, but uh, we're not looking at this one right now. Let's look at Savage He-Man. He's so savage. Um, he's got a big open hands. Um, it would have been nice to have a roar face on, uh, on Savage He-Man instead of the uh, serious, quite lucid Face. If he's supposed to have lost his mind and become savage, become feral He-Man, um, shouldn't he have uh, like a like a rah, like a Hulk face on him? Yes, yes, he should, Mattel. But it looks like they just took the He-Man sculpt and gave him some long hair. Another little cheap out there. Um, he does come with another pair of hands, some holding hands, so he can hold his wonderful accessories. First of all, he comes with this sort of power, um, which he isn't supposed to have in this form because. Just like we read on the back of the box, what happens if he says, by the power of Grey Skull without the sort of power? Well, he becomes Savage He-Man. And, and so, yeah, um, so that, we don't need that. Um, and, and he comes with this. He comes with an axe. Um, and yeah, the, the old uh, the comics or whatever, or He-Man is shown with an axe. His original, his original uh, weapon is shown with an axe. Speaking of Savage, look at that, look at that fucking paint app right there. Like, out of the box. Like, that that wasn't me. That's an extra little paint splotch on the back of there. Savage. Savage. Anyway, that that's the axe. It does look pretty cool. It looks like it's kind of old and banged up and got some uh, scratches and breaks in there. Uh, it's pretty neat. But, uh, but that, and that's the axe. And finally, we've got the spear. Um, I'm not not sure I remember a Savage He-Man or a Wonder Bread He-Man <laughs> coming with a spear because he didn't. I don't know that anybody in Masters of the Universe comes with a spear, but now we've got a guy with a, a stone spear. And you got to be a little bit more than Savage to be able to, to figure out how to attach a, a rock to the end of a stick like this without tying it on somehow you just like jammed it onto the end because it doesn't seem to be tied around the anyway they just did a bad job on this whole stupid thing um as far as this figure is concerned if you want to do a long hair variant on your he-man <laughs> as far as the masterverse are concerned you could pop this head off and pop it on he-man otherwise um you maybe you might have to repaint it uh get like some all this this crap this dirt this grunge off of him and you could uh, turn him into Tarzan if you want to or to Conan maybe if you want to um, other than that that is Savage E-Man <laughs>